What is going on everybody? This is All Around Gamers here and today I want to go ahead and talk about Ghosts 2. So I know a lot of people have talked about this etc etc uh, contemplating if it's real, contemplating if it's not real and uh, basically if you guys have not heard there is a New Zealand paper or something like that. Um, it was a newspaper and it was very officially written and it was published and it was basically saying that Call of Duty Ghosts 2 will be the next Call of Duty release. Now around this time we would not be getting any hints or anything for the next Call of Duty, that's why I think it's a little bit bogus. Um, and also there's a PR nightmare behind that. Um, basically everyone hated Ghosts. Everyone except for me and a few people I've talked to um, and a few other people really really hate it. So I totally understand why you guys would hate it. A lot of the kills were way too fast, no gun skill. A lot of camping, a lot of corner camping, and all that bad stuff. However, the perk system, the gun system, and the kill streak system, all that stuff, absolutely loved it. I loved all of that. And in fact, even the camping wasn't too bad um, because you could counter it with a few shotguns, a few snipers. Um, a lot of the SMGs could easily destroy them as long as you knew where they were. However, if they're good campers, which basically means they'd swap spots every once or two deaths. Um, then, then you're just kind of screwed. <laughs> Have to check every single corner, or you're dead. But let's go ahead and hop back over to Ghosts 2. So, Ghosts 2, I assume they aren't going to call it that. I assume they definitely will not be calling it that. Um, however, I feel like it'll still be the same game. So let me clarify. I do think that it's semi-real. I think that is a semi-real paper. Otherwise, why would they make it? Other, unless they just wanted to cause controversy to get like more people to see their paper and etc. etc. But I think it was as real as real could get. However, now that it's out, uh, Activision etc. etc. will try and make it not realistic. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to change the title, they're going to make it something else, blah blah blah. They're going to make it so it isn't Ghosts 2, <laughs> so people don't freak out. Um, I assume if they ever made the Ghosts 2 and called it Ghost 2, that they would see a massive dip in how many people are purchasing the game and playing it. Because Ghost 2 currently has much less players than Modern Warfare 2, MW3, so it's, it's ridiculous. If you go into Ghost, it's hard to find lobbies. If you go into MW2, you'll find one in like 20 seconds. It's nothing. So why would they make this paper? If it's, if it's fake, which I'm guessing it's not, um, why, why would they make it? So I'm guessing they just made it to say that, to get people to freak out, to get everyone to look at their paper, buy it for themselves, um, etc, etc. However, I think this was just a massive screw up. I think someone accidentally put it in there, wrote up a story, and the people who published it were just like, it looks good, there's words, let's send it out. Um, however, I do not believe that they are going to make a Ghosts 2. So go ahead and leave your comments below. I don't know, I feel like I just kind of had to ramble. Um, Either way, I'm happy with the games and how they've been turning out recently. I loved Advanced Warfare. I know a lot of people are going to say they hated it. <laughs> I loved Ghosts. I know a lot of people are going to say they hated it. I loved MW3. Uh, I loved Call of Duty 4. Um, even Call of Duty 2. All those. Loved them all. So no matter what they do, I'm going to stay a fan. As long as they don't make it absolutely terrible for everyone. As long as they don't bring Juggernaut back, I'm happy. Alright guys, see you in the next one. Peace out, hammies.